Hey guys, welcome to another Hap Japan video. Uh, today we're continuing to show you guys some of the functions, some of the things you can do in the iClick. Uh, today I'm going to show you the satin stitch or the 2D puff. This is very useful for baseball hats and any other sort of uh, headwear. And nowadays it's very useful, usual to see 3D puff, but especially in baseball and you know World Series is in just a few months, so maybe you guys can be knowing it about so um again we're gonna import your image to already have a logo this is a logo from a local team here in san diego and maybe you guys know it so you're gonna make it a tad bit smaller just so you guys can see the detail because I mean, you can make it that big i mean hybrid machines can actually make it that big but yeah it's gonna come out at least not in a hat so yeah so here you can see, um, as again, try to center it so it's in the center of your design. And you can always change the um, measurements. I should change here. Let's get here to image. Help. Uh, no, here it is. Language. Okay, well, anyways, this is in millimeters. Anything you should just change it to inches if you're, it's necessary. If not, you can just use it in millimeters. So, we're gonna uh, continue to use our satin stitch. Contrary to the tummy, this is a uh, stitch that should go as close to the actual outline as possible since this is going to mimic the flow of your letters in this case if your letter it's too crooked if you let it curve you need to follow that um, pattern so the, your embroidery job it's the closest as possible as the one you're trying to get right so just try to follow the path this goes from side to side contrary to embroidery job in the tatami which is more uh, a fill stitch this is more like a it's called a uh, satin stitch or run satin tool i mean there's a lot of variants in this one but yeah um this one has uh, the particular particularity that if you uh, make like a really really big stitch for example you want to go from here to here it will not uh when you start seeing like the preview you will see like there's stitches missing because um tatami can only go so so wrong I mean, so uh, long in a, in a stitch. So uh, we're gonna pause it from here. And we want to see how it looks, right? So let's just change. You can see there, I mean, it's going okay. Just uh, remember to always change the density. I recommend around 0 0.25, 0 0.20, depending on your design and also um, edit your outline if there's some crook lines like this one you can just fill it back in just fill it back in let's go up see if there's any more if i keep this one for example just fill it back in just fill it back in fill it back in just uh, you can customize the stitches to your will and to whatever the design you're trying to make. So just put this one up a little. And there you go. Now we're gonna do the other part of the S. Just for you guys can see how it looks. Again, we press here our satin stitch and we start doing our lines. Remember, try to do it as close as the actual like outlines of the design so it's not like all curved up. Or at least at least curved up at least as possible. Yeah. So I remember this this type of stitches like this, 
because when you do a 3D uh, puff, you put a piece of puff foam like on top of it. So the top part is actually just foam in the back, like in the bottom of your stitch. So this helps, um, this type of stitch is helpful when trying to do that because basically what it's doing is covering. And as you can see, it's go from side to side, like, like it goes like this. Instead of the, the tatami, you can go like this. Or even if it's a circle in the tatami, you can go like this. In this place, you can only go from side to side, from side to side. So it's an easy way to understand it. Um, satin stitch is uh, quite a bit mm, less complex in terms of you don't uh, really have to configure a lot of things like in tatami. But one of the most important things to configure here is the um, density, which you can see here. For uh, default, it gives you 0 0.5, but it's too wide for at least for my uh, the experience I've heard from other uh, digitizing, digitizing artists. 0 0.5 is way, way too too wide for anyone trying to embroider a hat or at least to have a baseball look. So recommended, as I said, is 0 0.25 or depending on the thickness of your design. There are some logos that have more letters, so they all kind of overlap if you put them too too like uh, not too thick there are some logos that are just one letter so it's easier there's just some logos that have objects beneath the letters and i'm just talking about i mean let's talk about corporate logos not just baseball logos right because uh, you know copyright whatsoever in this case we're just doing this for show which but corporate logos if you have a logo that's just letters well maybe you can do it in tatami but maybe you want to do a custom hat right a I don't know, a special hat for Christmas for your 4th of July, you know, right? Just around the corner, 4th of July. Keep safe, everyone. But yeah, you can just uh, do that and be safe and try to, you know. So tatami is very useful, but satin stitch can help you with this type of designs where there's a lot of uh, detail, right? Not for saying tatami doesn't give you detail, but satin helps you to achieve that look, right? That 3D look. And if you want to see how this will look like in the final product, you can just press Alt R and you can just uh, maybe change a little bit just per second. And then you will show, um, it, it will show you how to actually do and how will we embroider it? So yes, we have it S, and then we just. I'm just gonna do this part. So the S, and uh, you can see how it looks. So we, if we go in depth in the stitches, and we go like inside, you can see that there's a lot of reinforcement reinforcement in here, and um, the stitches are like really really close to each other. So. Oh, actually, there's a little part missing here. Just select this one. This is always useful to checking like your design is not crooked or any sort of detail in your design. So you can just change. And just check if everything's set. This is uh, the closest you will get to your actual final design. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the original uh, logo we we're trying to just uh, mimic. Uh, just for you guys to know, the background image we placed in uh, iClick is, mm, doesn't do much. iClick is only going to understand what you put like in here, like the stitches. That's what iClick chooses to work. If you only put an image, Aqua is not going to understand it and it's probably not going to improve anything. So for many people ask, oh, can I put like a more than one image in just one canvas? Yes, you can, but it will only understand whatever you embroidered. So it's also you need to take that into consideration. So let's just change this to black. So it's uh, maybe just more visual to us. And just put this to black. Put this to black. And there we have it.
I mean, I'm gonna do the other half uh, later off on the order I have today, but I just wanted you guys to show you how to satin stitch and how you can do quality work in around 10 minutes. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and well, remember to follow Hive Japan in our social media and in anything you can you guys want. Uh, we have YouTube, we have Facebook, we have Instagram. Don't forget to hit, give, give us a like and Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's uh, We're uploading videos every now and then because we, like, we have a lot of videos in the queue list. So uh, there's a lot of post-production, but we're trying to produce the most we can for you guys. So you can just uh, have more content whenever you uh, have a doubt. You can just return to these videos and that's it. As again, thank you for watching and be safe, guys.